What's up, my PT peeps? One Eye Bri back to talk about The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 13, discussion and spoilers about Morgan and the episode, and these things are highly likely to occur. Not 100% positive, of course, as they may change in the editing and filming of that, but ultimately, these are likely to occur, and I don't want to ruin it for you, so stop watching now if you don't want to know. Here we go. So episode 713 is entitled, Bury Me Here. Things do not go as planned when a group of kingdomers delivers goods to the saviors during a routine supply drop-off. So we know it's going to be the same group and the kingdom people, but let's talk about Morgan a little bit because that's what some of the information we got is about. So Morgan, do you like him? Do you not like him? Do you hate him? Do you think he's okay? I like Morgan. I just wish he wasn't so let everyone live kind of deal. You got to kill when you need to kill, but you don't have to kill everybody. You don't have to be letting everyone live and then killing everyone. He's kind of like, at first he wants to kill everybody when he, when he comes back in the picture and he's crazy. And then the next one is like, oh, I got to keep I'm going to keep everyone alive. But Morgan, like him or not, he's a huge part to the show since season one, episode one, and will be going forward. So Morgan's got a problem with Richard, and Richard's got a problem with everybody as the kingdomers don't want to fight the saviors, and that's all he wants to do. But will Morgan go crazy again? Do you think he will go full Morgan mode, full clear mode, kill everyone mode, or not? Post your comments below before we tar start talking about it. So basically, Morgan is going to be in this episode 713, obviously. Carol comes to talk to him initially, and he lies and says that, you know, if you want to talk about what happened to Alexandria with them, you need to go talk to them. We can go to Alexandria and talk to them, but I don't know any information, and I don't want to tell you anything. So he lies initially, but he comes back around towards the end of the episode. Because shit hits the fan and Morgan changes his mind because of an incident that we'll talk about in a second. So basically, Richard, Ben, Morgan, Ezekiel, the Kingdom guys, they go out and they have a problem with the saviors in there. And they go to a couple different things and it should be a good episode. But basically, the drop off with the saviors and the Kingdomers does not go as planned because of a certain someone, Richard comes up with a new plan to sabotage things and cause the war here. But we see the Kingdomers pointing their guns at the Saviors. You see Jared back there with Morgan's staff. Morgan gets his staff back in the episode, so we'll talk about that. But basically, they're there to get some produce and fruit and whatever. And the melons that they're supposed to get, Richard takes one of them, hides one of them, so there's only 11 when there's supposed to be 12, and it's the end of the freaking world for the saviors. You said 12, we only got 11, I'm gonna kill your ass. That's how the saviors play. But Richard sets it up to think that he will be killed, and he's okay with that. He's okay with sacrificing himself to have the kingdom fight the saviors. But of course it don't happen that way. You know that ain't gonna happen, that's the way of the walking dead. So Richard's plan is to hide one of the melons, cause a problem, get killed, and have the kingdom fight the saviors and start the war. But that don't happen. Who gets killed? Who do you think dies? Yes, Benjamin gets killed. He gets shot in the leg, starts bleeding out. His artery, his femoral artery, gets shot, taken out, broken, and he dies. Then Morgan gets pissed, finds out about Richard's plan, and strangles Richard to death. And that's Morgan going to full crazy mode. So Ben dies because of Richard's plan. Richard basically kills Ben or gets Ben killed, which sets off Morgan and Morgan kills Richard. So we get the return of crazy Morgan. Now I could see Morgan seeing Ben as his child, as his, you know, surrogate Dwayne because of the fact that they bonded, they connected, they've been around each other. Ben's taking a liking to Morgan, and they have this connection now. Now, Dwayne, Morgan's child, son, that we saw in season one, died, you know, where Morgan didn't take his, his, his wife that was a zombie, and the zombie bit Dwayne or whatever. And we'll see some flashbacks of Dwayne, supposedly, is what some of the sources are saying, that Morgan just gets all crazy and whatever, and he starts thinking about things of clearing out zombies and walkers and whatever, and then thinks of Dwayne and how things got crazy for him. And I could see that was kind of like 
his child dying. Another another child of his died. You know, even though he wasn't, but he sees Ben as a loved one, as a family member, as someone he cares about. And Dwayne was that as well. So I could see that happening there. And it's a shame, which sets Morgan off over the edge where, you know, Ben, I would have liked to seen Ben live a little longer because the character was kind of growing on me a little bit, but that's what happens. And he gets taken out and now his, his brother is going to be alone there too. So maybe Morgan teaches him now or whatever. So we'll see if that actually happens after the fact when Ben dies and Morgan goes crazy. But so for this grave here, Richard digs this grave and after Morgan kills him and strangles him, he puts him in that grave and buries him there. So that's the same grave from the promo picks at the very beginning of the season. And Morgan goes back to the kingdom, talks to Carol, and they have it out where Morgan tells him the tells her the truth and says, you know, about Glenn and Abe and Spencer and Olivia and everything, and that just they're just ready to fight now. So the kingdom and Carol are ready to fight. Morgan Morgan is like, I guess it's like semi crazy mode where he's just ready to kill these saviors and whatever. He's not like killing other kingdom people or whatever, but he's definitely gone towards the crazy clear Morgan again. So that's kind of the character, I guess, where he's like crazy or he's good, where no one dies. Now all these people are going to die. So I just wish there was a happy medium. So hopefully we'll get to see that. We just don't know because it is the way they say at the end of the episode is Morgan is sharpening his stick while Carol and Ezekiel plant, you know, of something for you know the fallen victims or whatever. So, but crazy Morgan is back. And I guess somewhat crazy Morgan is back. So that's what the word is. So I'm kind of excited to see that, how it goes down, the start of this. And this is the start of, you know, the kingdom coming to the aid of Rick to fight the Savior. So it should be pretty awesome. So there you go, guys. Check out our Walking Dead community page on Facebook. Post your comments below what you think about the news, the discussion, the spoilers about Morgan going crazy and all these people dying in the episode of 713. If you like this channel, hit that subscribe button to help us out a lot. Subscribe today to get more videos. You guys are awesome. Post your comments below. And thank you for watching, guys.